you have created sheet metal rules that should be used by most everyone in your company, but you want a way to share them with somebody else. I will share these at the bottom of the list, 20 gauge, 18, 16, and 14, and show you how to do it very simply. Let's get started. The first step is to create just a sheet metal part. It doesn't have to be constrained and it doesn't have to be fancy. Anything that's a, a piece of sheet metal. So go ahead and just create a flange and pick out whatever gauge you want to use as your first. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use 20 gauge. Then what you want to do is delete that body. You don't need it. Once you have your sheet metal style introduced into this model, you can then add to it. So here's your rule, 20 gauge. Hit the little icon at the end, hit the drop down, and pick the next, si next thickness, which is 18 in this case, say OK. Repeat this process for all those you want to share. I'll do it for a 16, and I'll do it one more time for 14. Now, at this point, you look at this model, and you look at all the list, you have all the gauges inside this particular file, 14 being the default at this point. So what you want to do then is save the file, put it someplace so everybody can get it. Call it sheet metal, styles, or rules to share. The person that wants to add the rules to their library then goes out and opens the file, sheet metal rules to share. They then go over to the list and you'll see, just look at the list, you'll see that they're all there. Okay, next you go to the sheet metal tab, sheet metal rules, and you'll see the list of all the rules that are in this design. Right click on each one in turn and copy to library. Let me, it goes the first one and so on until all are copied to the library. Close it. You can close the file. Now the next time that you create a new sheet metal style or sheet metal component, the sheet metal rules will be available as you can see. I hope this helps you do better work in Fusion 360.